Hello, I'm Himanshinigam from IIPS and VVV University and here I'm explaining the algorithm for Gauss elimination method. Gauss elimination method is a method of, is an iterative method of solving system of simultaneous equations. Suppose we have set of n equations like a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 and so on up to a1n xn is equals to bn b1 and the next equation is a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus a23 x3 plus and so on up to a2n xn is equals to b2 and we have n equations like this here to determine the values of x1, x2, x3 and so on up to xn first we need to form a lower triangle like this with zeros by eliminating some terms. This process of making a lower triangle is known as triangularization and this method is known as Gauss elimination method. For Gauss elimination method Algorithm is divided into two parts. First is for triangularizing and second is for back substitution. First we see triangularizing n equations in n unknowns. Here triangularizing means making a lower triangle. For example like if we have three equations like this in which we have three unknowns x1, x2 and x3 and here these three are constants. Here in places of a21x1, a31x1 and a32x2 we have to make zero for making a lower triangle. This is known as triangularization. Now for this we have to make an algorithm which is like this. First we need to initialize by iterating for a loop. Here iterations are represented by i in which we have first initialized i by 1 and then v goes to n in steps of 1 that is we increment i in each step and simultaneously we have made a loop for j also which is initialized to 1 and then it goes to n plus 1 that is 1 more than i in steps of 1 it is also incremented by 1 what we do here we read a i j that means we read all these coefficients of x. Now here the for loops ends. Now our second for loop begins of k. Here k is initialized to 1. It goes up to n minus 1. In steps of 1 like it is also incremented with 1. Here n represents the total number of equations which is 3 over here. Now our second loop which is a nested loop for i is equals to k plus 1 to n in steps of 1 we substitute the value of a i k divided by a k k into u which is an another variable here if k is equals to 1 then we put the value of a i 1 divided by a 1 1 in u now here again a nested loop for j which begins with j is equals to k and ends up to n plus 1 in steps of 1 we substitute the value of a i j minus u k j into a i j now here the for loop ends and all the other for loops also ends here now here begins our second part which is the back substitution for finding values of x1 x2 up to xn here xn which is the last value of x can be determined by substituting the value of a n in a n n plus 1 divided by a n n and then we begin with our for loop which starts with i is equals to n minus 1 up to n it is a backward loop in steps of minus 1 that means i is decremented up to it comes to 1 and then we initialize sum to 0 our next loop starts with j is equals to i plus 1 up to n in steps of 1 we put the value of sum which is initialized to 0 plus 
a i j x j into sum again and here the for loop ends then we find the value of x i with the help of values of a i n plus 1 minus the value of sum which we got from here whole divided by a i i here our for loop ends now by using these algorithms we can find the values of x1 x2 x3 up to xn that's all thank you